A man who went missing in Sabino Canyon for 12 hours last weekend is now speaking out nearly a week after he almost died. Yeah, Rafael Batiste was camping with friends last Saturday and became separated from them on the hike out. He said one wrong turn left him stranded in triple digit heat and he credits four good Samaritans for saving his life. He sat down exclusively with Nine Year Side's Ricky Mitchell to tell his story and she joins us now. Well, Stella Rafael Batiste said he had planned on only about a two hour hike early Sunday morning. Now he started at Hutch's pool and that's near or in the Sabino Canyon area, but one wrong turn took him all the way to milepost nine along Catalina Highway. It was actually under one of the bridges near that seven cataracts vista that he started screaming for help. Nearly a week has passed since Rafael Batiste was rescued, and though his body has healed, he can still vividly remember those 12 hours lost in the desert. Every time I saw some shade, I would stop and rest. There were some pools of water that I would soak my head in. He said he could hear the helicopters and knew they were searching for him, but he could never get close enough, so he kept walking. At some point, I just looked up and I saw a bridge and I saw cars, so that was the only visual I had, so I knew I had to get to those cars. Shortly after though he said his body started shutting down my hands and my uh, face and my feet were getting numb so that's when I started to worry that's that's when I kind of started to panic a little bit he says four people heard his screams and hiked down to his location bringing water and fruit an hour later a sheriff's helicopter arrived they said that after 10 hours that they uh, they start getting very worried uh, especially since I didn't have water uh, that they uh, normally would be looking for a body after that much time out there. I think I'd reached my limit. I pushed myself as much as I could uh, uh, to get to that road and I fell a little short, but that was I got close enough to where people heard me and, and uh, they could get help to me. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm very thankful for that. And Raphael says he's reuniting with those good Samaritans that helped him this weekend. He says his physical fitness and limited survival knowledge did help him, but that next time he hikes, he plans to bring a map. Guy, Stella. Yeah, Ricky, wow, I get the chills just hearing his story. That was so close. Mm -hmm.